Hey everybody, Stephanie View here with The Point of View and today I'm just going to go over some basic nutrition information with you guys and I just did a small grocery haul at the local grocery store. Usually I get all of my stuff at Costco because we do go through a huge amount of produce and everything that we, not everything, but most of the things that we eat are whole foods and so even though at times it's just my son and I, we definitely go through that much food. So I'm going to turn my phone around here and show you guys. Okay, so one thing, and I'm going to talk about this pretty briefly here. Um, my son loves to eat yogurt, like every single day for breakfast. We'll put homemade granola in there and like some blueberries or raspberries. And he'll have some mini chocolate chips, which I'll show you those as well as I go down the line here. Um, I did buy this on special because it expires on the 31st and it is actually the 24th right now. So he'll definitely eat both of these between him and I. The most important thing here to look for is most people look at this in greed, you know, they look at this nutritional information and that's not really what matters. Actually, what you really want to look at is right here. This is the actual ingredient. So cultured, pasteurized, organic, whole milk, cream, pectin, vitamin D, and then the bacterias, right? So that's one huge, 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 huge mistake that people make with like yogurt and or cottage cheese and things like that. And it's because if there's a bunch of different things in there, those are toxins basically. Like if you can't pronounce the actual ingredients and if there's more than, you know, like with this, it's just the whole milk and the live cultures, you don't want all of that other stuff in there. It defeats the whole purpose of trying to eat clean, okay? So make sure you're looking at that. Next up is cottage cheese. I am a cottage cheese addict. And I eat cottage cheese with like cherry tomatoes and cucumbers and chickpeas. Um, sorry, I'm just going to adjust this really quickly. So again, Daisy is literally the cleanest version that I've ever found. So ingredients, cultured milk, cream, and salt. That's it. That is what's important. You look at the other cottage cheese out there and it's terrifying what is actually in there. Almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. For those of you that maybe drink coffee, you know, switch it up and drink the unsweetened almond milk. Califia Farms, this is like the go-to brand for me. There are a couple of other options out there that are okay. Okay, moving down the line, what I have here is local spinach. I put this in my Shakeology every day. Um, we have some oranges for AJ. We have some organic peanut butter. Again, looking at the label here, organic peanuts and salt. Okay, that's all that's in there. This is, you know, just some 15 grain bread. I do get whole wheat tortillas once in a while. It's Friday, so AJ and I will make our own pizzas. So we'll have like low sodium, you know, no sugar added organic tomato uh, paste for the pizza and then put on top whatever you want to. I make different things with the organic vegetable broth, low sodium. Again, if you look at the ingredients on here, you know, this is a really clean brand. So it's literally, you know, water, carrots, onion, celery, leeks, tomato puree, mushrooms, garlic, sea salt, savory leaf, and ground bay leaf. That's it. Today, I decided to get some little wine minis because I am gonna hit it really, really, really hard um, after the weekend with basically no cheats or treats if you will because Punta Cana is coming up. Baby Bella mushrooms. I've been doing this with uh, shiitake noodles which is a vegetarian tofu noodle. Um, so I make some bowls with that and shrimp. Shrimp is the one thing that I do eat. And then I've never bought this before but it's actually another you know good brand. The ingredients are fine so no mac and cheese in this house but these crazy bugs look okay. These are the mini chocolate chips. So again, with AJ's breakfast, or for me, I use these chocolate chips for actually, I do like the plain Greek yogurt, and then I do this with a little bit of peanut butter, a drizzle of honey, oftentimes some nuts or berries, and it's kind of like a cookie dough. Then for cheese, a lot of people don't understand also with cheese. Like cheese should be cheese. Don't buy the fat-free cheese. You know. This just is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. You don't want the stuff that's like fat-free or, you know, whatever the things are. 
What you have to understand is that if it says low fat, fat free, third of the fat, anything like that just means that they're putting in more additives to make it that way. You want things in its like most pure form, okay? Bananas, we're gonna come over here. This is just some of my produce. So I wash my own produce every time. So what I've done is I don't use cleaners either. I have um, water, a spray bottle. I use Thieves essential oils to clean the sink first okay so I get the sink really 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 clean and then I do equal parts of white distilled vinegar and water and that's what I do my produce wash in so I let these soak for about usually 10 to 12 minutes honestly uh, I do buy a lot more organic than I used to and if I were doing berries I would do them separate so I do two different washes if you will and berries I usually do depending like raspberries and blackberries those can tend to fall apart a little bit so I do those for a shorter period of time usually five minutes max if I had other things that were smaller I always get a bunch of strainers out depending on what all I have so that I ensure that now when this is done rinsing I will also rinse all of this stuff again when I get it out of the water to get all of the stuff that could be on it off right so some people don't think of that either and then I have all of the strainers out and I let it dry for a couple of hours actually usually you know I just ensure that everything is actually dry before I cut it up and chop it up and put it into different containers so anyways, that's just a basic rundown of a little bit what the shopping looks like, some of the things that I use, you know, it's going to always be more whole foods and if they are boxed or canned or whatever the case is, you're going to want to look at the labels and what the actual ingredients are, not the little bar code. Obviously, I do look at the sodium content and sugar, but other than that, you really just want to look at the ingredients and make sure that they're whole pure ingredients. Um, I'm going to do the little series about this. I'm going to answer some more questions. Let me know if there's other questions that you have. Please comment in the comments below so I can specifically answer those for you as well. And thank you for tuning in again. Stephanie View with The Point of View.